Namaste. Today's topic is tenses. We know what is a tense. Actually, tense uh, tense denotes the time of the verb or an action or state. Actually, tense time of action or state. Here, there are three tenses: present tense, past tense, future tense. In the present tense, there are four. Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. In the past tense also, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. In the future tense also, simple future, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. Here, this uh, simple present, simple present tense is called also known as indefinite present indefinite present tense and continuous tense will also progressive tense also known as progressive tense yes now one by one we discuss now first i want to discuss simple present tense simple present tense Here, simple present tense usually uh, we use for the uh, habituation. We have habituated regular actions and uh, historical events. We use this simple present tense. Habituated means I wake up early in the morning. I brush my teeth. Those are, that is called habituated. Universal truth. Sun rises in the east. For this, we use present tense. Usually, the what is the structure of present tense? Subject, verb, and object. Yes, sir. I wake up early in the morning. I wake up early in the morning. Yes. This is simple present tense. Actually, this uh, there is one condition we have to remember. What is the condition we have to remember here? If it is third person singular, the subject is third person singular. For the main verb, we have to add yes or yes. For example, he wakes up early in the morning. In the morning. Early in the morning. Makes we who use this uh, yes. How we add yes to the, uh, the verb? Yes to the verb. We see if uh, if uh, this uh, word the word end with s s s r c h s r c h r uh, next to uh, we use actually uh, for this. Um, we use es. We use es. We add some. We add es. For example, kiss. Kisses. Kisses. Next to catch. Catch catches. We add es for this. If the word end with s r c h. And uh, end with the go, go also, go, 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 goes. Yes, we are. Then we are yes, we are yes. In the same way, if the go, the go end with y, end with y, we uh, yes, uh, we are that before that y there is a vowel, there is a vowel. Uh, then we are only yes. We add only yes. How buys, buy, buys, buy, buys. Usually we get the doubt. Yes sir, yes sir. Catch, catches. Catch after catch. Yes sir, yes. Usually we get the doubt. But if the word end with ch, then we are yes. Then we are yes. If the word, the verb, the verb end with y, and the y is preceded by a vowel, 
then we add only yes we add only yes next to if <coughs> if <coughs> if the verb is end with y <coughs> end with y uh, then uh, and uh, that before that before that y there is a uh, consonant there is a consonant we have to change that y and add es for example carry carry carries carries yes for this simple present tense we have to remember that where we add es or s s i e s yes next to third person singular for third person singular we add yes we add yes next next to present continuous present continuous present continuous or present progressive present continuous or present progressive hey, sorry i wa i want to tell uh, i want to uh, tell i forget to tell in set present tense we usually use some keywords we usually use in only in present tense some words we use only in present tense what are those words always usually that is add verbs those are add verbs these add verbs we use only in simple present tense what are always usually often never frequently uh, generally every day every week every hour every month every hour every minute for this we use only with simple present only with simple present now present continuous present continuous what is the structure of present continuous present continuous subject plus verb and ing verb ing plus of no. sorry before verb before verb before verb uh, yes sir am is are are this is called before verb before verbs and verb plus ing and object and object as here i am this a uh, writing writing ye book i am writing a book here this is continuous where we use is with he she it and names names of the persons we use is with i we use am where we use are we you uh, they with this uh, they we use are we use are here this are uh, present continuous where we use present continuous tense if the action is progress now now the action is going on then we use present continuous tense then we use present continuous tense i am teaching grammar now i am teaching grammar now that because actually this action is going on now then we use present continuous tense actually this uh, present continuous tense uh, for present continuous tense we use some adverbs some adverbs we use only in present continuous tense what are those uh, adverbs here now nowadays and these days we use only with present continuous only with present continuous next to present perfect present perfect present perfect tense <coughs> what is the structure of present perfect subject has or have plus past participle form of verb participle part is uh, pa past participle verb 
less object. Yes, uh, in uh, some uh, coaching centers and uh, B3 they mentioned, B3, yes, uh, I, I have, I have um, written a book, I have written a book. Here, when we use this present perfect, just we completed our action, if we complete our action just just now, that by action is uh, started in the past and of we complete it just uh, completed in the started in the present and completed in the present, then we use that the past uh, sorry, present perfect tense. Yes, actually in the present perfect tense along with the present perfect tense we use. Uh, the adverbs are so far, just, up to now, since, for, is recently. Yes, sir. Apart that, since, since is used, since we are using with point of time. Point of uh, time. And for is used period of time. Period of time. Period of time. Yes. These are the, this is present perfect tense. Where we use if the action started in the present and stopped in the present and just completed actions we uh, represent in present perfect tense. Present perfect tense. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Oh, yes. What is present perfect continuous? If the action is started and continue, started in the past and continue in the present, that is, then we use present perfect continuous. What is the structure? Subject. Subject. <coughs> Sorry. Subject. Next, uh, how, has or how, has or how. Next, B, B plus ing, plus object. This is present perfect continuous tense structure. Yes. Yes. I have been working 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 I have been working I have been working uh, as a teacher as a teacher uh, for 26 years Years. Yes, I have been working as a teacher for 26 years. Yes, sir. This is actually where we use this present perfect continuous. If action is started in the past and continue in the present period, then we use present perfect continuous. For present perfect continuous, we use now. Nowadays. Next to uh, these days, we use Present perfect continuous. Uh, sorry. Uh, present perfect continuous. We use sorry. For and since. For and since. We use present perfect continuous. For four years. For since. Uh, since 1990. We use uh, present perfect continuous. Next to come to simple past. Simple, simple past. Simple past, the basic structure of simple past is subject, past verb, past verb uh, usually we call V2. This is past verb. Past verb and object. Yes, I wrote a book. I wrote a book. I wrote a book. 
where we use the past past yesterday is past for yesterday we use simple past you need not to use unnecessarily you, know, you need not to use past perfect for all the past past single past incidents we use past past tense only simple past only we use yes yes you are with a simple with the simple past uh, with simple past tense we use yesterday you go earlier this week last night last year last month last week we use with simple past tense next past continuous past continuous yes sir here this past continuous means the action is going on in the past some period of the past time then we use past continuous actually this uh, structure of past continuous subject uh, this is was and verb plus ing then object yes i was writing writing a book actually this i was writing a book is incomplete sentence remember that later i will discuss this why it is uh, incomplete later i will discuss here this is uh, past as a past continuous here only i will discuss yes uh, this uh, past continuous never used with uh, actually uh, individually this is actually this is uh, incomplete sentence i was writing a book i was writing a book why otherwise when you came to my house you came to my house then the sentence is completed then the sentence is completed we cannot use past continuous tense individually along with simple past only we use uh, past continuous tense here see this uh, was writing the uh, action is started and continue but this action is uh, after this uh, action is started and continue then this action is happened so first to started action we use past continuous second action we use simple past yes past continuous along with we use simple past simple past simple past only uh, is uh, only past continuous always incomplete sentence along with uh, simple past we use past continuous tense for combining this past continuous and pa simple past we use some words what are this past by then before by then before yes next to past perfect past perfect past perfect actually the structure is subject had plus uh, v3 form that is past participle form of verb past participle form of verb and object yes here i had written a book i had written a book here is yes, uh, this uh, past perfect also is uh, sometimes we use if uh, along with simple past when we use if we want to express if we want to express two pres uh, two past incidents in one sentence then for one first uh, uh, for first action we use had uh, that is uh, past perfect for the second action we use simple past yes the train had left
before we reach we reach the station before we reach the station yes here yes, see when uh, this uh, uh, while left is the first action this uh, we reach in the station is second action so for the first action we use past perfect and for second action we use simple past this is also as a combination of two tenses yes here for past perfect and combine the simple past and past perfect we use uh, when before after when before after as soon as we use these um, these we use along with past perfect tense past perfect tense next past perfect uh, tense next to uh, past perfect continuous past perfect continuous past perfect continuous when we use past perfect continuous if the action is if the action is uh, started in the past time sometime this action is going on and stop that action in the past period then we use past perfect continuous the structure is subject <coughs> subject <coughs> subject next to uh, had next to been plus b plus ing plus object plus object yes i had been working as a teacher from 2002 to 2005 we have to along with the past perfect continuous we have to mention the span of the time span of the time from to from to we have to mention yes sir along with this uh, past perfect continuous yes uh, we is uh, past uh, perfect continuous we have to use uh, this uh, from uh, from period and to uh, two point of time from time and to time we have to make sure along with past perfect continuous next to simple future simple future simple future simple future yes the basic structure in the simple future we use will is we use will and shall structure is subject will or shall and verb plus object plus object here see here i will will write a book i will write a book here along with the i and we we can use will and shall both we can use but with second person pronouns and uh, second person pronouns and third person pronouns so third person pronouns we use only will we cannot use shall we cannot use shall you might ask the question you shall you shall uh, if we use you, know, uh, you, uh, you must you shall you shall you, we use that is uh, not uh, auxiliary verb here will is auxiliary primary auxiliary that uh, shall that shall is um you shall that shall is auxiliary modal auxiliary modal yes here this is a simple future when we use simple future the simple future we use uh, if the action is uh, going to start then we use in future tomorrow if we do that uh, particular action 
then we use simple fusion. Yes, sir. Along with this, uh, we as uh, similar as actually um, for indicating future, sometimes we use going to. Going to also to indicate future simple future tense. Yes, sir. With the, actually for, with the simple future tense, we use uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, next week, next year, next uh, month. We use yes. Actually here, uh, see here, pres, uh, simple perfect, simple perfect continues. Uh, simple continuous, simple perfect sometimes we use but simple perfect, uh, simple uh, uh, continuous and simple perfect continuous we uh, usually not use in our uh, conversation written and uh, uh, spoken conversations, uh, communications. So I want to discuss future, I suggest future perfect tense, future perfect tense. Future perfect. What is the structure of future perfect? Subject will or shall. Next to a uh, will or shall and have. Then verb, past participle form of verb and object. Yes. Yes. Uh, I will. How I will have written a book. I will have written a book. Actually, here that is uh, this uh, future perfect in future. What is uh, definitely we do for that? We use for future perfect tense. Here, this uh, for uh, future uh, future. Yes, this, uh, all these uh, tenses out of uh, 12 tenses, 10 tenses we usually we use in our written and uh, spoken communication. Yes, uh, this uh, next to, uh, I want to discuss the conditional tenses. What are the conditional? Yes, sir. Uh, these conditionals are three types of conditionals. What are the three types of conditionals? Uh, these three types of conditions are probable condition, improbable condition, possible condition. Probable condition mm -hmm. is a prob probable condition, improbable condition, impossible condition. Yes, pause up. Mm. Yes, there are three conditional sentences: probable conditional, improbable conditional, possible conditional. Actually. Yes, sir. Uh, we are using tenses along with if clause. If clause. If clause. In that clause, there is uh, two parts. If clause having two parts. One is if clause we use. If we use, uh, with the say first two, first part of the sentence we call if clause part. And the second part is main clause. Main clause. If clause and main clause. Here, first, probable condition. If that uh, probable condition means uh, the simple present uh, present tense comes in the if class. Here, in the if class, we use simple present. Simple present. And in the main clause, we use simple future. We use simple future. Yes. Here, that if class structure, if class structure, I am going to write if, first if plus subject uh, plus uh, verb plus that is actually object. Next to that uh, uh, main class, main class uh, structure is subject, will or shall. Uh, next to uh, will or shall verb and object. Will or shall and it. Yes. If I will write an example, some uh, example sentence. If you come to my house, to my house, my 
mother my mother will offer you offer you a cup of a cup of coffee a cup of coffee yes see here if you come to my house come me simple present tense if you come to my house this is called if class part this is called if class part my mother will offer you a cup of coffee this is main class part main class part see here if subject verb and verb that is verb and object here see subject will and verb and object object this is the first this is probable condition this is called probable condition probable condition next to uh, that is impro improbable condition improbable condition that is also related to if clause if clause and main clause this is improbable improbable condition improbable condition yes if clause and main clause we are he actually in the improbable condition in the past simple past simple past comes in the if clause and this uh, whereas uh, should uh, might could uh, what comes in the main clause yes i will show we show here simple present simple sorry simple past here should could should could next to might we use should could might the structure of if class is subject <coughs> subject yes sorry if subject plus v uh, verb plus object here here this uh, main clause is subject any yani should do uh, should or would or uh, should or could or might plus next after this we use first verb one and object yes here i will write if i if sorry if i wrote well if i wrote well i should get first mark i should get should get first mark first mark yes see here if i wrote wrote is past tense we use past tense verb past tense verb here next to should we use in the main clause should we use should get that is after after will after shall should can could may might uh, must uh, next to uh, yes will would or, or after all these uh, verbs um, helping verbs we have to use only simple present tense simple present only we use simple present only we use next to next to conditional that is that is impossible conditional impossible condition impossible impossible condition this is also related to if clause and main clause if clause and main clause as yes, sir this impossible condition if were in if clause if subject <coughs> had v3 then we use object object in the main clause we use subject would would 
next to um, have have plus v uh, three form and object. Oh yes, this subject sorry subject. Yes, I will write a sentence here. If if she had come, if she had come. If she had come, I would have, I would have, I would have helped her, helped her. I would have helped her. Yes. See here, in this class, in this class, we use had. Whenever we use had, then we use would in the main class. This is impossible. Condition. Where we use this impossible condition? It actually this impossible condition can be impossible condition can be that an action does not take place because the condition was not fulfilled. If this impossible condition we use, it uh, actually uh, the action does not uh, take place because condition was not fulfilled. Yes, here actually this um, uh, uh, I completed the tenses. We have to learn. If you have any doubts and uh, deep explain, if you want any deep explain explanation, I have given. I have given my contact number in the um, uh, this description uh, description uh, box. You can contact. Then I will explain directly uh, and uh, thoroughly. I will explain if you have any doubts in the tenses. Even if you have the uh, doubt in the conditionals, you can ask. Uh, my number is given in the descript uh, description box. Uh, next to uh, description box is uh, yes, uh, if you like my video, please subscribe and uh, share, share, share. Thank you. Jai Have a nice day.